So if you would look at our foundation and our patient population today, what would you possibly envision as a potential game changer or as a potential advice that you would give us on how to grow? Is there something that you would say that, okay, this would be an advice that you could give to a foundation of our size to where you can then expect some growth? I think the thing that we've watched happen is the groups that didn't have registries realized that that was going to be a game changer for them to be able to consolidate the data and be able to partner in different ways with all different types of entities. And it just has, I think, streamlined the research process for all, you know, for academic scientists, um, for, you know, industry to, to be interested in, in looking at a particular disease state. So the registry issue is paramount and there's just fascinating, exciting work. I know that you all are working on one. Um, that I think also just opens up the possibilities for that patient engagement and involvement piece. And it, you know, I heard Sharon Terry from the Genetic Alliance speak this morning about how it takes research from being about the they to the us. And it's, it's very exciting for patients to feel that they have a way to engage and advance the research and, and further the progress. So I think that is, is one area of, of great excitement. You know, the other thing that we see is these groups have the ability to harness the scientific community together towards answering, you know, questions that need to be answered in unprecedented ways. It's not that scientific societies aren't there offering up some of that same possibility, but I think it's a different imperative when you're putting that patient at the center and you're really allowing the research community to understand why they're doing what they do. Um, and I, I believe that everyone who's researching in medical research, you know, wants it to have an output and an end, end game and purpose. So I think the, the registry issue, the data, the putting patients at the center offers up that possibility and allows partnerships to be created differently. Yeah, we're, we're, for the moment, you know that we have set up the patient registry last year in June. And I'm really happy that you say that because that is really something that I believe as well to really become a partner in the community uh, if we have a sufficient number of patients also for clinical trials the way to R&D so we hope that that will help a lot and that our patients trust us sufficiently to enroll into this registry. Well and you also want the patient community engaged so that the, it's raising the profile of that research and it's it's really putting um, you know this imperative out there that this is something that's impacting people every day that they it has real implications for them. Um, so I, I just think it, the power of that, it cannot be underestimated.